right so do not get it twisted when i said that i'm trying to be a woman yes i am a woman but it has come <laughs> it has a remainder you know i'm just trying to like do women things you know to be a woman is not just a physical look your gender identification and all that no you need more in a way <laughs> to be a modern woman a classy woman or something i don't just know what they want me to become because i am a woman no <laughs> it's just that i don't do pain pain i'm a pain uh, the makeup thing i'm just learning then you know i'm not a cosmetics person you know i am not that fashionable especially when your man wants you to be looking um posh you know like all those women out there <laughs> you owe it all to yourself as a woman when you are single but when you are married or when you are with a man you would definitely be doing something that will be pleasing to him something that he likes especially when those things are not against your values they're not against your belief system or your moral lifestyle you know you just do it for your man that's just the problem with all these men unfortunately i landed myself in this kind of a place again where there is no social life no activities of any kind you even if you're going to the shopping malls here yeah, you have to cover now you people have seen me now if i women here they wear canvas they wear stockings to cover up some of them wear i don't know hand gloves to come out so what's the essence of all this penge penge so basically the manicure and pedicure thing that I'm going to be showing in this video, the way I do mine at home, you know, this place is in the rural area. Even if we were staying in the city, in a bigger town, definitely I wouldn't be going to the salon or to any beauty shop to do this, you know. And even if I was currently in Nigeria, I wouldn't be doing to the, I wouldn't be going to the beauty shop for it because of my past experiences I've got doing this. I've only done this, I've only done pedicure in my life twice, that's in a public place, all the rest have been at home. So why I would not go to the salon for it is this, first experience was in Manchester. So I walked in there with my friend because I was going to travel to Nigeria to meet with my <laughs> Mr. Wright for the very first time now. You have to pimp now, you know my friends they were teasing me that I have to like brush up, touch up, clean up. <laughs> so walked into this uh, beauty shop and they said the price for it is uh, 40 pounds currently 40 pounds is 20,000 naira or around 22,000 but then 40 pounds was 10,000 naira you know so I was like let's just do it because they were looking at us these black girls can they really afford it so I decided to give that a go they started doing it you need to see my face on that day because i wasn't happy <laughs> wait let me show you the picture i was looking so sad i was just calculating the money what ten thousand naira could do for me in nigeria you know how could i just use it for pedicure it's crazy now <laughs> so i sat down they were doing the pedicure and the manicure <laughs> it was just pedicure because it was just my leg alone um, that was what they did. They didn't touch my thing. Uh, no. And the leg that they scrub and cleaned up in water. My sisters, they didn't apply any cutters. They did not paint it for me. It was just the scrubbing. If you want to paint, you have to pay again. I said, I don't want to paint. When they told me the price, I said, I'm not painting again. Thank you for the one you've done. <laughs> All right. So when I arrived at Lagos Airport, even Mr. Wright that was waiting for me for over hours before we landed, she was like, I look so different. Because the kind of hair, my flatmate fist on my head that day, I look like Jemima. And not only that, they delayed me at the airport for over two hours. You know immigration Nigeria and their protocols and all that. In fact, I lost a pair of shoes where they were searching and searching, saying that I got so many new things. I have to pay custom duty and blah, blah. So when I came out to meet with Mr. Wright, my face was already looking so ugly, so mean. You know, I was pissed. <laughs> he said I was looking like Jemima. That this is not the face you usually communicate with on um, Sky Call. Is it Sky or Skype? On Skype call, you know, that my face looks so much different. <laughs> I was laughing, you know. So always be yourself, especially when you are in a long distance relationship. I beg, if you are showing your face like this on a video call, when you want to travel, go be the person. Appear like this. <laughs> so that the person will really say that you look different. That's by the way. Alright, so my second experience doing pedicure in a salon 
was the one I went in Nigeria. Then I was due from delivery. I was already nine months gone. So I was like, let me just go and do this so that when they will say raise your leg and push, the nurses won't be seeing some, you know, nah, some unclean legs and blah, blah, blah. I went to the salon on my street. It was being managed by an Igbo person, but it has all this stuff, the Yorubas working for her. So the girl, hmm, I paid though, it was very cheap, 500 naira, very cheap to scrub this leg. In fact, she scrubbed my leg, oh, said the leg come off from my legs. <laughs> I was screaming that it was hurting me. She said, sorry, hey, Joma, hey, Joma. She used stone. You know, Noma, those stones that our mothers used to use to scrub our legs in those days. That's what she used for me. My sisters, person that went to look for beauty, I found trouble. I went home on that day, the next morning, my heels, they went dark and sore. Hey, I used my money and bought Wahala. I built trouble for myself. <laughs> Hi, God. I was like, what have I done to myself? I went back to her. She, she was like, she was sorry. And she applied the shea butter. That's Ori. And she gave me the Ori now, the cream to take home to be applying on it. Hey, somebody that went to look good. I went to look for beauty and I found trouble, you know. I went home that day, I said, never again, never, ever, ever again. Before I started coming to, what is it called, Saudi Arabia, the beauty shop where I usually make my hair. The woman was like, wouldn't you do manicure, pedicure? I said, leave me, leave me, not me and Dona. Coupled with all this HIV, this infection that is trending. So basically, I do my thing at home. So this is what I'm going to be sharing with you, how I do my at home. Now let's get into it. All right, this is a bowl of water and this is tepid water lightly warm water not that hot so here i'm going to be adding um a teaspoon of either baking powder or baking soda anyone you can you add it into the water this way and uh, i will add my lemon if you have either lemon or lime you can use either so i'm going to be using half of this i'm going to be squeezing half of this into this water you should immerse your leg putting your legs into the water rest your leg just keep it for 10 minutes all right now so 10 minutes gone so this is time you use this you scrub the leg you scrub the leg you scrub it very well Scrub everywhere, every bit of it. You use it like this. You scrub it. So now I am done with that. I actually got a clean water to rinse my leg. So what I do is to dry it off. You know, use towel, dry off my leg this way. You know. Then I use this vesseling. And you massage it all through. After you finish massaging it, you wear your stockings. So you just put down your leg. That's all. So after a while, when the legs are dried, you know, you can actually file your nails, you know. You, then you can apply all this if you want. In those days, I used to apply this. But at the point, I was like, it doesn't make any sense. I'm not going anywhere. No party, no ceremony. <laughs> you know, what's the essence of applying all these things indoors? I beg. Who are the next for? <laughs> I know I have a man in the house. <laughs> but it's not even always there. So what's the point? No point. So you can apply this if you want. Yeah. So that's just that. That's how I do my pedicure at home. Yes. So please do not forget to like, comment, and then subscribe to my channel and support your girl in this part of the world, Saudi Arabia. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate Love you.